All right, folks, a few weeks ago we had a fish kill here. We had a period of uh, high temperatures without any rain, and uh, that caused an algal bloom, which decreased the dissolved oxygen level uh, in the lake, and uh, we lost a couple, two, three hundred dollars worth of paddlefish, uh, some bass, and um, uh, some bluegill, some other stuff. Not a whole lot of fish, but enough to, to make us want to not do that again. So we went on and uh, we got this uh, oxygenating fountain from uh, cascomarine.com and uh, it came in two boxes. Lori already assembled it for me. Um, so she, uh, one box was the float with these mooring lines and uh, we got 50 foot of electrical cord. We could get 100, uh, in, uh, 100 foot and 150 foot but it was about $100 for every 50 foot. And uh, I'll show you, the lake's not that big, so I think we'll be able to get by with this 50 foot. And, uh, and then the second box, it had um, this thing here, which is just basically a big motor with a propeller um, on the top of it. This propeller here, and uh, it's pretty sharp, actually. Uh, so it's just gonna make a hellacious uh, gurgling in the water and uh, help oxygenate the pond. So we're going to show you how we're going to go about installing this. Alright, so uh, here's our pond. Um, you can see it's not that far across. So that's why I'm thinking the 50 foot of cord will be fine. And uh, we're going to use the boat over there to take and uh, drop the... We're going to tie cinder blocks onto these, uh, these mooring lines and drop those in the water but to make sure that we don't put it too far out to where the our uh, 50 foot of cord can't reach I'm going to tie that in a knot you got a piece of rebar sticking up here uh, and I'm just going to loop that around there that way we can make sure we don't go out too far and uh, and the cord will still reach over here to the shore so that's our next thing is to tie that up we'll put We'll put this in the water, then we'll grab the boat, come over, tow it out, grab the mooring lines, drop those in the water, and, uh, and then hopefully plug it in and be uh, oxygenating. And here's my helper, Winch Laurie. Alright, since we're using this cord here through a piece of cinder block, is that the wind moves that thing back and forth, it could move this and eventually chew through the rope. So we got some old garden hose here that we're going to feed this rope through. And then uh, we'll fit this through here. And then we'll tie it up here. And that way, as this moves, the uh, garden hose will keep from chewing through our nylon rope. All right, so the way we're going to do, we got three uh, mooring lines. The way we're going to do this so that we don't uh, impact our fishing a lot by putting a line out this way is we're going to put a line straight out and then a line, another line straight out towards the other shore and then we'll have one line going out that way. Uh, that way it'll hold it in place without impacting our uh, fishing a whole lot.
There we go, oxygenating. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs>